We hear virtual reality and for many of us, our minds jump right to video games or something like that, right? But that kind of technology can also be a game changer for healthcare. Dr. Adam Shiner is one of the first surgeons to move his practice to the metaverse and he's joining us this morning. Good morning, Dr. Shiner. Thanks for joining us. Uh, good morning. Thanks for having me. Oh, we're glad to. So it's a super interesting topic. Uh, first off, I think at this point, since the pandemic and everything, many of us have done telehealth visits of some sort at this point. So how does it all work when we're talking about doing this in the metaverse? Right. Telemedicine is now very popular. And the metaverse and virtual reality takes telemedicine really to the next level. It's been used to help with virtual consultations, medical trials, medical training, and many other applications. So how, does, uh, how do virtual environments offer new ways to, uh, for healthcare providers to interact with patients then? Right, so what the amazing thing now is in this virtual world, we can use this for connecting with patients. I, in my practice, I'm using it to do virtual consultations, to do seminars, uh, and to be able to invite new people in a new way to see our practices. Could the, uh, could the environment with, uh, with this virtual type of environment be kind of conducive to some different therapies or, or treatments even in the future? Yeah, interestingly, the metaverse creates a really comforting environment and helps mental health in general and has been even proven to help patients with schizophrenia re-engage with society through research in England. With the mental health crisis in the U.S., we all know that there's a need for therapists is great, but how do we create a response that can scale to meet this demand? The singer Jewel started a company called Inner World that brings group therapy and cognitive behavioral immersion to the masses. It's been determined also that avatars not being our real selves make sharing our inner thoughts much easier for people, which greatly helps in therapy. Yeah, it's a really interesting concept and it totally makes sense. So uh, you are a surgeon, right? So uh, what about uh, the idea of remote surgery? I know we do a lot of robotic surgery now. Is, uh, is surgery through the metaverse in some way uh, kind of possible in the future? Yeah, we're currently using virtual reality to help train surgeons in orthopedics before they work on real patients. There's a company called 8Chill that records rare surgeries by expert surgeons and uses AI to recreate that surgery in a virtual world. Upcoming surgeons can then match their hands, the expert surgeons in that virtual world and redo that surgery. And where they're doing that, they can gain muscle memory and a mental map on how to do that rare surgery. In addition, they now have gloves called haptics that a person can wear that allows people to feel objects in the virtual world. And this will allow surgeries to be performed remotely in the future. That is fascinating just to even hear that information. So obviously you are uh, sort of on the cutting edge of this. You have, uh, have gone ahead with, uh, with using the metaverse and everything. Do you feel like this is truly the future uh, of medicine, especially when it comes to consultations and your typical doctor's visits? I think as we get these uh, oculuses and things even smaller. I think this is absolutely going to be the future. It's, it's, it's super interesting, and in many ways, the future is already here. So if, uh, if any of us want to go online, maybe learn a little bit more about this, where can we go? So there's a link to the virtual world on my website. If they go to adamshinermd.com, they can get more information about this exciting new world. All right, it is exciting, and we're glad to uh, have you along for the ride. So Dr. Shiner, thank you again for, uh, for taking some time out this morning and sharing this information because it's new for basically all of us, right? Thanks again. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you again. Oh, we appreciate it. So there you go. The, uh, the future, like I said, the future is now in many ways and uh, telehealth, telemedicine, maybe just the beginning.